Hi there, I'm Travis from Provid Films, and today I'm going to share with you how to generate leads for your business for free, whether it's uh, business to consumer or business to business. So we're going to go to our local library website here. We're going to type in, uh, actually we're going to click on our, our website. It's been redone. So we're going to look for directories. And we're going to look for, uh, there's a few different directories here, a bunch of them actually. I used to use down in, uh, the DNB, Brad Street one. Um, right now, I'm going to show you how to use Reference USA. It's really easy. Um, I've already logged in, so this is what you'll see. Um, we're just going to skip the whole tour, and we're going to look for business to business. So let's say that you're selling something, and we want to narrow the list down to businesses in our area. Um, so what we're going to be looking for people in our geographic area. So I live in a metro area, which is a major metro area. So you could type in by zip code. Um, what I'm going to do is just click on metro area, select my state, which is Minnesota. Uh, scroll down here and filter the choices. I'm going to basically just look for the main Minneapolis St. Paul market. I can update the count here and see how many. So they've got 165,000 um, listings there. Let's say I only want to deal with businesses that have five to fifty million dollars in revenue, and I'll select these options. So it's you know that size of business. Um, I can update this count here again, and then what's really fun is you can go into the business type. So if you go on Google and you just type in the NAICS code, let's say that you're looking for marketing, a very 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 niche um, market, you could do that. Another way to, to, to kind of just if you're new to business directories is kind of sc scan through here um, and you could select services. So let's say I'm going to look for for adver uh, advertising agencies. Those might be under services, business services, advertising agencies. Now this is really going to narrow down your search because remember this is only in metro area, only revenue 5 to 50 million, only you know all of these different variables and it still has 61 and 17 emails here so what I could do is just leave it at that but I'm just gonna do all business services um, let's see outdoor advertising radio general advertising uh, commercial photography I'm just gonna do everyone you know I'll just select the whole the whole category update the count here we go we've got two we got a thousand twenty nine. So, uh, what I would suggest is you is you create very niche lists because um, it's going to take a lot of time to contact you know a thousand different businesses. Um, if you've got two hundred fifteen emails, cool, but you don't want to be, you know, marketing to heavy construction equipment rental. Um, so I would s stick with just the creating the the small one, the small list here. Sorry, I, sh I could have done this earlier. I'll just leave it at that. Update count. There you go, 125. So now what we, we've got, you can just kind of scroll through it and see all the different selections. View our results. And the fun part. This is where you're just going to select all of them. So this selects the whole column. The one thing about Reference USA is that as a free library member, it does limit you to the amount of downloads per um, per download. So since we only have 125 different results, we're fine. You can download 100 or 250 per download file. So, what's kind of fun here is what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on one of these. Let's say, and when they have this little tree, that means they've got a little extra information. So we've got all of their contact information here. Um, they've got information on all the different the SIC and NACS codes. Um, these are the ones that we could have found on Google so that this company would pull up under any of these. So you can get very niche in what you want to do and then it will bring multiple results. So let's give you a bunch of other random information. Uh, how many employees, you know, what's their total sales. Um, gives you some of their org chart, their organizational management, you know, who's doing what. Sometimes this information is out of date so if I call to talk with John Bishop, uh, he may formerly have been president, but this information might be out of date. Uh, 
So this is kind of fun information that you can have very quickly understand some information about a business on what you're calling. So I could just download the individual result right here or going back to my general search, I want to download all of the information about every business that met that criteria. So I'm just going to click download. I'm going to do comma delimit del delimited. I'm not sure. I'll leave a comment on how I can actually say that word. Um, I find this works the best when I upload it to Google Docs and so forth. I like to have detailed, so it includes all the data. Um, and then I just do download records and it's going to automatically, boom, download it to my computer. So I'm going to continue on here now on how to actually create or get this data into a usable form. So what I do now is go to docs.google.com, create a new spreadsheet, and under file you're going to do import. We're going to import that CSV data and we're going to upload it. And what I just did is you could just go you know, show that download file going to pop up because I have dual monitors. I'll drag it up here and you'll see create automatically create a new uh, spreadsheet detect the commas uh, automatically. We'll just import that and boom now we can open that here in the spreadsheet. Um, what I like to do is select this whole do control B or uh, find the bolding here. Um, I'm going to do five uh, sorry uh, view freeze row and view freeze column one. So what this does is kind of locks this one in here. So as I scroll down through all these businesses, it keeps all these titles along the top here so I can see who is doing what. I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to do control minus on a PC. I think it's options minus on a Mac. You can really zoom out and see all this information. Oh, a little too much there. What I'm doing here, I'll clean this up so the little uh, tabs, some of the people drives them annoying, uh, drives them crazy whenever I do too many tabs. Um, I'm going to select this one here that has their website, grab the little hand and bring it way over here. What I'm also going to do is grab their address, bring that here, Kansas City. And let me see here. Let's also do their phone number. And I'm not the best at using this type of information, but um, it is kind of nice to have all this information. If you can click on their website, um, have the number to call them, you can know exactly who to call. Um, you've got a bunch of information about them. Um, you know, it's it's nice to not have to go through Google and try to come up with your own lists of all these different companies. It just makes it faster if you're calling on leads. Um, okay, so moving on to the next thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information here and we're going to try to make it into a cool Google map that shows you all the dots on a map. So for this last step here, I'm going to show you how to turn this into a Google map. Um, for sake of time, because the system is kind of slow to do this, I'm just going to select the first um, 15 contacts here. So I'm going to select all this information here, including the, the row one where it shows what these are. I'm going to go to a really cool site called batchgeo.com. You're going to click here and paste your information, validate and set options. I'm going to show more advance. Um, Based on the way that the system already has it configured, um, the title of the business will be the bolded line, just like a Google listing, but you can click on it and it will show you um, the website down here, um, the address as well as the phone number, which I find is a great way to kind of visually, I'm a visual person, understand where everything is. So we're going to do make map. Now this takes just a little bit of time. That's why we're only going to do 15 uh, different business listings. When you're doing 250 or so, it's going to take you a little longer. But you can see right here, it's made our map now. Um, and you can kind of view where they're, ma they're at. So if you have, let's say, a business trip out here, down in the South Metro, um, you could call them up and potentially you know, schedule a meeting while you're out in the area. Um, 
so what we can do here is save and connect. You can create a name of it. So let's go advertising. And then this is cool. Um, you got to enter your email address here if you want it to be able to come back and edit it later, which is kind of nice because you've gone through the work of getting this all created. So you just enter your email address here and then you can come back to it later. Um, you can't make it password protected unless you're a pro member, um, but I've the, the main difference I think is that it goes faster when you're dealing with tons and tons of contacts. So here's uh, one I made showing all of the, the contacts from B from before. So you can see how it sent, you know, it did a wide range of areas when I said the metropolitan area um, has a lot of pinpoints on the map and uh, it's kind of useful. So you can take this, embed it on your website. Um, you've got this map, you can come back to it, share it, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, just a free, free way to kind of visually see all these different leads that, you know, come 15 minutes ago you didn't have. So. I hope this helps out. Um, Give them Travis from ProVid Films. You can check me out at ProVidFilms.com. Do video production, uh, for web videos for businesses around the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul area. And would love to connect with you if that helps you out. Thanks. Have a great day.